Um, the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle, you might have heard of his name, he, he said, um, the boat without, uh, father boat without a destination, there is no favorable wind. That is, you could have a boat, in those days if it had a big sail, it could be in the most perfect of conditions. If it's out at sea, if it's got no destination, then it doesn't matter which where the wind is blowing or if it's not blowing at all because it's got nowhere to go. It's just, it's just there and it can go in any direction and it's got no destination. So there is no favorable wind. Um, it seems like that's a picture of many people in the world today. They just don't know where they're going. Uh, there was a man in the 19th century, another philosopher called Friedrich Nietzsche. I don't know if you ever heard of the man called Friedrich Nietzsche. He's famous for the philosophy of nihilism. And, and he says, in the principle, let's say the, um, the underlying principle of that philosophy is that there is no truth, there is no true meaning in life. You give the meaning for your life. How absurd. You give the meaning of life. So that means to say, so whatever you make of life, that is your life. You give that meaning. So you, whatever you will for your life to be, that's what it is. That's your truth. So that's kind of, uh, so what he's saying, there's no objective truth. Objective truth is what, actually is the truth uh, above and beyond how we perceive and we feel it is the truth for everybody that's objective truth and what he's saying is no 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 the truth is subjective what you make uh, things out to be for you that's for you so then yeah that's subjective subjectivism uh, so that's kind of what's coming up trumps in the world today uh, you make the meaning for your own life and you make life out to be what it is for you. Do you not see that in the world today? Where men can become women, women can become men, according as to you feel, you can get out of this life if you want. Because there is no real objective truth. You can take away your life, euthanasia, all this uh, kind of stuff. Abortion, life is cheap. So there is no real meaning. It is as you feel. Um... And this is basically what Jesus is saying in the gospel today, uh, uh, saying that the, the spirit of truth, he will send the advocate, will come to you when Jesus goes, because it will be of, for our benefit. Because man, man needs the truth to be revealed to him. The meaning of life needs to be revealed to us, because the meaning in the, of life is beyond this world, this visible world, because we are made for everlasting life, beyond this life. So it needs to be revealed to us, the truth. And so Jesus says, the advocate who will lead you to the truth, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will show the world how wrong it was about sin. What is sin? Sin means separation from God, separation from life. Uh, and he says he will prove them wrong because they've refused to believe in me. He was the source of life, the source of truth, Jesus. And we're seeing that in the world today. That's why the culture of death, we're living in the culture of death. Why? Because it's refused Jesus. He who reveals the truth to us, the meaning of life. They've refused it, they've rejected it. And that's why we're living in a culture of death, sin, separation from God. And then he says, and he, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, spirit of life, will prove the world wrong about righteousness, about what is right. He says, because I am going to my Father. What is right is being in the truth. Uh, being in life and the father is the source of all life and that's where Jesus is going uh, and he shows that because he, he said he would die 
and you'll rise again from, 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 from death. Uh, only, only the source of life can rise some, raise someone from the dead so that life is stronger than death. And that's what Jesus did. And he goes to the Father and they'll see him no more because he's beyond this world, which is where the true meaning of man, his life is to go to, to the heavenly Father. That's what he is created for. Uh, the principle and foundation of life, I've just come off doing some uh, spiritual exercises. What is the principle and foundation of life, which gives us, the, which is the true meaning of, of, of our human life? St. Ignatius of Loyola says, the principle and foundation of life is this, that man is created, created by God. That means that he is created for God. He is created to praise, give reverence, and to serve God. And in this way, save his soul. And all other things that are created are to be used for this end. Uh, to help man save his soul. That's for what we're created for. Uh, and, and the last thing that Jesus says, that the, the Holy Spirit will come uh, to, to, to help us, to, to, to show the world about judgment. Uh, and about judgment proved by that the prince of this world has already been condemned. That's the principle of life that I've just told you. The principle and foundation of life is that, you know, that we've created to praise, to reverence, and to serve God, and so save our souls, and to use everything else that's created to help us to that end. The prince of this world, the devil, with his principles, uh, 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 principles of lies, of looking out for self, you're looking after number one, do whatever you will, do whatever you please. And he's the one who infiltrated the life of Frederick Nietzsche, for example, and give him that philosophy of death, which is reigning in the world today, uh, and has been condemned, and it will only lead you to condemnation. So we can pray that we may be led by the truth, by the spirit of truth in everything that we do, because our meaning does have life, and that life is the gift that Jesus has given to us, of which we are also to make a gift of our lives in loving one another as he has loved us. So we can pray now in this Mass that that may be the principle of our life, Jesus' word, Jesus' commandments, Jesus himself, whom he gives himself now in this Mass, that that will be uh, the meaning of our life and which we will adhere to until the end uh, so that we can be with him, with his Father, in heaven. Amen.